In quantum computing, and more specifically in superconducting quantum computing, the phase qubit is a superconducting device based on the superconductor insulator superconductor Josephson junction, designed to operate as a quantum bit, or qubit. The phase qubit is closely related, yet distinct from, the flux qubit and the charge qubit, which are also quantum bits implemented by superconducting devices. Introduction A phase qubit is a current biased Josephson junction, operated in the zero voltage state with a non zero current bias. A Josephson junction is a tunnel junction, made of two pieces of superconducting metal separated by a very thin insulating barrier, about 1 nanometer in thickness. The barrier is thin enough that electrons, or in the superconducting state, Cooper paired electrons, can tunnel through the barrier at an appreciable rate. Each of the superconductors that make up the Josephson junction is described by a macroscopic wavefunction, as described by the Ginzburg-Landau theory for superconductors. The difference in the complex phases of the two superconducting wavefunctions is the most important dynamic variable for the Josephson junction, and is called the phase difference delta displaystyle delta or simply phase Topic. Main equations describing the cis junction The Josephson equation relates the superconducting current usually called the supercurrent I, I, style I through the tunnel junction to the phase difference delta display style delta I equals I zero sin delta Display style i equals i underscore zero sin delta. Josephson current phase relationship here. I zero. Display style i underscore zero is the critical current of the tunnel junction, determined by the area and thickness of the tunnel barrier in the junction, and by the properties of the superconductors on either side of the barrier. For a junction with identical superconductors on either side of the barrier, the critical current is related to the superconducting gap delta, display style delta, and the normal state resistance R n, display style R underscore n, of the tunnel junction by the ambigauker baratov formula I zero equals pi delta. 2 e r n display style i underscore 0 equals frac pi delta 2 or underscore n ambigauker baratov formula the gorkov phase evolution equation gives the rate of change of the phase the velocity of the phase as a linear function of the voltage v display style v as v equals 2 e d delta d t display style v equals frac h bar 2 e frac d delta d t gorkov josephson phase evolution equation this equation is a generalization of the schrodinger equation for the phase of the bcs wave function the generalization was carried out by gorkov in 1958 The McCumber-Stewart model The alternative and direct current Josephson relations control the behavior of the Josephson junction itself. The geometry of the Josephson junction—two plates of superconducting metal separated by a thin tunnel barrier—is that of a parallel plate capacitor, so in addition to the Josephson element the device includes a parallel capacitance C C the external circuit is usually simply modeled as a resistor R display style R in parallel with the Josephson element the set of three parallel circuit elements is biased by an external current source I display style I thus the current biased Josephson junction solving the circuit equations yields a single dynamic equation for the phase C 2 E D 
2 delta d t 2 plus 2 e r d delta d t equals i minus i 0 sin delta Display style FRAC HBARC two E FRAC D carrot two delta DT carrot two plus FRAC HBAR two er FRAC D delta DT equals II underscore zero sin delta. The terms on the left side are identical to those of a particle with coordinate location delta display style delta with mass proportional to the capacitance c display style c and with friction inversely proportional to the resistance r display style r. The particle moves in a conservative force field given by the term on the right, which corresponds to the particle interacting with a potential energy U delta display style U delta given by U delta equals two E minus I zero cos delta minus I delta display style U delta equals frac HBAR two E left I underscore zero cos delta I delta right. This is the washboard potential, so called because it has an overall linear dependence minus I delta display style I delta. Modulated by the washboard modulation minus i zero cos delta display style i underscore zero cos delta. The zero voltage state describes one of the two distinct dynamic behaviors displayed by the phase particle, and corresponds to when the particle is trapped in one of the local minima in the washboard potential. These minima exist for bias currents i i zero display style left i right i e for currents below the critical current. With the phase particle trapped in a minimum, it has zero average velocity and therefore zero average voltage. A Josephson junction will allow currents up to i 0 to pass through without any voltage. This corresponds to the superconducting branch of the Josephson junction's current voltage characteristic. The voltage state is the other dynamic behavior displayed by a Josephson junction, and corresponds to the phase particle free running down the slope of the potential, with a non-zero average velocity and therefore non-zero voltage. This behavior always occurs for currents I above the critical current, i.e. for I greater than I zero Display style left i right greater than i underscore zero, and for large resistances, r display style r also occurs for currents somewhat below the critical current. This state corresponds to the voltage branch of the Josephson junction current voltage characteristic. For large resistance junctions, the zero voltage and voltage branches overlap for some range of currents below the critical current, so the device behavior is hysteretic. Nonlinear inductor Another way to understand the behavior of a Josephson junction in the zero voltage state is to consider the cis tunnel junction as a nonlinear inductor. When the phase is trapped in one of the minima, the phase value is limited to a small range about the phase value at the potential minimum, which we will call delta 0 displaystyle delta underscore 0. The current through the junction is related to this phase value by I equals I zero sin delta zero display style I equals I underscore zero sin delta underscore zero. If we consider small variations, delta delta display style delta delta in the phase about the minimum delta. Zero. Display style delta underscore zero. Small enough to maintain the junction in the zero voltage state, then the current will vary by delta i equals i zero cos delta zero delta delta. Display style delta one equals left i underscore zero cos delta underscore zero right delta delta. These variations in the phase give rise to a voltage through the AC Josephson relation. Delta V 
equals two E D Delta Delta D T equals two E one I zero cos Delta zero D Delta I D T equals L D Delta I D T Display style delta five equals FRAC HBAR two E FRAC D delta delta DT equals FRAC HBAR two E FRAC one I underscore zero cos delta underscore zero FRAC D delta one DT equals L FRAC D delta one DT This last relation is the defining equation for an inductor with inductance L equals Two E one I zero cos delta zero display style L equals FRAC HBAR two E FRAC one I underscore zero cos delta underscore zero. This inductance depends on the value of phase delta zero display style delta underscore zero at the minimum in the washboard potential so the inductance value can be controlled by changing the bias current i display style i for zero bias current the inductance reaches its minimum value l m i n equals 2 e 1 i 0 equals r N pi delta display style l underscore erm min equals frac hbar two e frac one i underscore zero equals frac hbar r underscore n pi delta. As the bias current increases, the inductance increases. When the bias current is very close, but less than the critical current, i zero. Display style i underscore zero. The value of the phase delta zero. Display style delta underscore zero is very close to pi two. Display style pi two, as seen by the DC Josephson relation above. This means that the inductance value l display style l becomes very large, diverging as I display style I reaches the critical current I zero display style I underscore zero. The nonlinear inductor represents the response of the Josephson junction to changes in bias current. When the parallel capacitance from the device geometry is included, in parallel with the inductor, this forms a nonlinear L C display style lc resonator with resonance frequency omega p equals 1 l c equals 2 e i 0 cuz delta 0 c Display style omega underscore p equals frac one sqrt lc equals sqrt frac two a underscore zero cos delta underscore zero hbarc, which is known as the plasma frequency of the junction. This corresponds to the oscillation frequency of the phase particle in the bottom of one of the minima of the washboard potential. For bias currents very near the critical current, the phase value in the washboard minimum is cos delta zero equals one minus i i zero two. Display style cos delta underscore zero equals sqrt one i i underscore zero caret two, and the plasma frequency is then. Omega 
P approximately equals two E I zero C one minus I I zero two one four Display style omega underscore p approximately sqrt frac 2a underscore 0 hbarc left 1 i i underscore 0 caret 2 right caret 1 quarter. Clearly showing that the plasma frequency approaches zero as the bias current approaches the critical current. The simple tunability of the current bias Josephson junction in its zero voltage state is one of the key advantages the phase qubit has over some other qubit implementations, although it also limits the performance of this device, as fluctuations in current generate fluctuations in the plasma frequency, which causes dephasing of the quantum states. Topic quantized energy levels The phase qubit is operated in the zero voltage state, with I, I0 display style left, I right at very low temperatures, much less than 1 K achievable using a cryogenic system known as a dilution refrigerator, with a sufficiently high resistance and small capacitance Josephson junction, quantum energy levels become detectable in the local minima of the washboard potential. These were first detected using microwave spectroscopy, where a weak microwave signal is added to the current I display style I biasing the junction. Transitions from the zero voltage state to the voltage state were measured by monitoring the voltage across the junction. Clear resonances at certain frequencies were observed, which corresponded well with the quantum transition energies obtained by solving the Schrödinger equation for the local minimum in the washboard potential. Classically only a single resonance is expected, centered at the plasma frequency omega p display style omega underscore p. Quantum mechanically, the potential minimum in the washboard potential can accommodate several quantized energy levels, with the lowest ground to first excited state transition at an energy E01 approximately equals omega p display style E underscore O1 approximately HBAR omega underscore p, but the higher energy transitions first to second excited state, second to third excited state shifted somewhat below this due to the non-harmonic nature of the trapping potential minimum, whose resonance frequency falls as the the energy increases in the minimum. Observing multiple, discrete levels in this fashion is extremely strong evidence that the superconducting device is behaving quantum mechanically, rather than classically. The phase qubit uses the lowest two energy levels in the local minimum. The ground state, G, display style, G wrangle is the zero state of the qubit, and the first excited state, E, display style, E wrangle is the one state. The slope in the washboard potential is set by the bias current. Display style I and changes in this current change the washboard potential, changing the shape of the local minimum, equivalently, changing the value of the nonlinear inductance, as discussed above. This changes the energy difference between the ground and first excited states. Hence the phase qubit has a tunable energy splitting. 